are numbered one, two, three, four on both hands. Your thumb is always one. You never use your little finger so we don't give it a number. We'll start with your right hand. Place your thumb on F, your second finger on E, your third on D, and your fourth finger on C. Now you'll notice that your thumb should be higher than your fingers. And you play your thumb on the side of the thumb, not across the end. So keep it high on the side, and when you play it, it comes down and hits your finger. Just plop it all the way down. Try to make your thumb move as far as you can. Then you pull your fingers into your palm all the way in. The further distance you can make your thumb and your fingers move, the better your tone will be. It's the same thing when you're coming up. Your fingers come all the way in, and your thumb plops down. Be very careful when you're coming up that when you get to here, you don't pull your hand up to your thumb. Keep your hand down and still make your thumb work. Your hand, your wrist, and your shoulder should all be as relaxed as possible. This is very hard to do when you're starting, but try to remember to relax. Your wrist is in just a little bit, and your arm is allowed to rest on the soundboard as long as you don't glue it there and try to move this way. It should be able to glide up and down as you're playing. You want to play in the center of the strings because that's where your best tone is. You need to be sure that your nails are short so that you don't hear your nails on the string, just your fingers. Now your left hand position is very similar. Generally your left hand will be playing the lower notes on the harp and your right hand the higher ones. So we'll try our left hand an octave lower than our right hand was. Your thumb is still up, but your palm this time is facing much more towards the floor. You don't want your palm in towards the strings like this because then your fingers have nowhere to move. So bring the bottom part of your hand out a little with your palm facing the floor. Your fingers are pointed down a little bit with your thumb still high. Plop your thumb down and then pull your fingers in to your palm. Be sure your fingers have plenty of room to move. With your left hand, the problem is that you can't really see your fingers because your hand is in the way. That's the way it should be, unfortunately. So you just have to get used to what that feels like so that your fingers will know if they're in the right place or not. Now with both hands, we've been having you put your fingers on first and then play. This is very important on the harp and this is called placing. You can see it in the music by the brackets. These brackets mean to place your fingers on before you begin to play. In this bracket, you put all four fingers on and then play four, three, two, one. Or if the bracket looks like this, you place all fingers, four fingers on and then play down. One, two, three, four. Don't just play like this. That's cheating. You have to place them on first. Follow your brackets. Your tone is much better, it helps your fingers learn the spacing on the strings, and it makes your playing much more flowing if you follow the brackets. It's really the very most important thing that you can learn as a beginner, is really follow the brackets. Take your time and be sure your fingers are placed before you play. I'd rather have big pauses in your music but your fingers placed than to have it in time to begin with. 